Uh, you're going to get in this? Yep. You want me to hold it? I've got a slightly longer arm. You've got slightly longer arms? Yeah. Is it on? You've got longer arms than me? Well, that's a bit... No, I don't know, mate. Yeah. Right. Right. Oh, no. Oh, I know, it's a bit... Right, isn't it? It's true. Right. Keep your eyes closed, mate. Hold on. No, just look that way more. We can get away with it. <laughs> that's there, worse. Can no. I put sunglasses on? Yeah. A bit late now, too late. Have you got a No, not here. Go on, it'll be fine. Go on, okay. we'll just squint. Okay. Hi everyone, welcome to Big Oggy Golf. And I'm back with the professor, Max Hutner from Cornwall Golf Lessons. My coach. Yeah, he's still my coach. Yeah, still my coach. Uh, we're at Killio today. And with the infamous. With the infamous two, two iron. Two iron, yeah. Now you gave a little tip the other day, just a simple quick tip on how yeah, to use it. Indeed. But today you surprised me, because um, I didn't know what was going to happen today. And we're going to do four or five different things John can do, with or a two anyone iron. can do with a two iron. Hopefully on the golf course, Matt. Hopefully, but as always we're going to start on the range. Yes we did. Yep. And see what we're going to do. Um, okay. But yeah, some different ideas of how you can use this two iron. Okay. Okay, so That's let's great. go. Go again. Back to one. Up to two down to three and then back to the ball that's it do it again one two three and back that's nice and do it again yeah and back down that's nice and now just hit this ball away might have to look at the slow-mo on the replay for that yeah. one John okay. but principles are good of where you were trying to get it. Yeah, I think because a couple of the shots we did, uh, they've gone that way. Yeah. And that happens with a driver sometimes. That they, I end up with the club face wide open. Mm -hmm. I'm kind of a bit conscious of trying to, still trying to pull it too much that Steer way. Steer it, yeah. Yeah. Like I said, if it goes, if it just goes without thinking about it. Mm -hmm. That was better. Yeah. yeah. So if you come grab this camera. Okay. And I'll take the infamous two iron. Two iron, yep. Although look, I don't know if that light catches that. <laughs> Does it see on oh, there? I don't know, we're a bit, a bit silhouetted mate. Okay. Well there's a nice strike almost out the middle. Look so good, look good, the finish look good anyway. Yeah. Well we've got the slow-mo as well, but I think the big learning thing here for our first use with this two iron, practicing just general technique, was if you're there at one, yep, yeah, up to two, three needs to be the same as one. Yep. Your bad one, as we always see, is not so much one, which is slightly inside the line. Yep. Not even two, but you just have a habit of just three pulling about over my shoulder and being it? there. Yeah. And then coming across. And we'll see that on the slow-mo that we've yeah, done. Okay. But that exercise you do where you literally count it in as one, two, three, back to the ball. It's such a good exercise to do. So it's one, two, three, back to the ball. Do it a few times and then just hit it. Yeah. Okay. And a great result. Set, set the scene, set the scene, set the scene. But that's okay. our first use today. Of so a two, a two iron. iron. Perfect. Is it round the right way? Yeah, <laughs> perfect. Right, let's go and do some more uses for your new tailor made two iron. Thank you. Yeah. Keep it low, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so Matt, we've just been on the range and we did number one. Number one, practice I, with practice, a practice purpose. Practice with a purpose, yeah. So, what we were talking about, even though it's a two iron, you can definitely have a, uh, a session on the range looking at your positions at one, two, three and through to four so it's just as usable as a seven iron uh, absolutely sense. and i've learned quite a bit today we were yeah. discussing off camera a couple of things that i need to look at definitely and that was that was really quick and yeah. now i can go back and work on that good i've set you up another one here john thanks so pra <laughs> practically <laughs> you said you were going to do all these bits of film that practically uh, we're going to use your two iron again to demonstrate just what is a whether you class it as a pitch and run okay or chip and run we've got approximately 125 30 yards down to that flag we've got an overhanging branch here ball sat nice but the worst thing you're going to do is get the ball up in the air sure reach for your infamous two iron yep okay um you just come around slightly in front so i talk you through it very quickly but these are only going to be very quick tips sure. 
Um, hands down, the grip just makes it a little bit more usable, and we're not going for full power, are we? No, no. Yeah, so it's just about getting the ball the rolling. Yeah, keep the ball in the middle, maybe a slightly narrower stance, because again, we're not going for a full swing. Okay. Hands and weight slightly forward, but we don't really need to worry too much about this because the beauty of this, it's got no real loft. When okay. I say no real 17 loft, degrees, I found out, by the way. 17, perfect. I'm glad you said that, but it's not like a 7 iron. Yeah. No. So we're not really going to worry about this tree branch coming out here. Ball in the middle, weight slightly forward. Obviously, just watching, we're not too close to any trees behind me, your new club. Uh, and likewise on the follow through, which we're not. Yeah, okay. okay. So keep the head nice and still. Yes, you've got to practice working out your speeds, but this is an ideal shot for you, John, to play. Thanks, Matt. Do you want me to have a go first? Yeah, you go have a first. Yeah, okay. we'll uh, do a demo. Do you want okay. me to move back a bit? Yeah, so you can move around behind. Hopefully, see then, a uh, reaction. We'll have a look. Okay. So hopefully. So as people can see, they should be able to see the flag yeah. overhanging tree. Okay, here we go. And then I'll set you up similar shot. And it goes. Oh, bit straight, I think, Matt. A bit too far right, that one, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it didn't curl around at the end. No, but at the same time, I think I've probably just got the alignment wrong. Yeah, and, and to be honest, we're, we're basically just throwing this demonstration together to show yeah. that you can actually hit a low shot under a tree, yeah. not necessarily the perfect result. No, might have to have another go at that for the camera, but okay. your turn. Where was it, here? Right there, yep. That? I think so. Happy? We'll call it there. Well, yeah. I don't know, you're the one filming it. <laughs> you'll go. I'm thinking you're going to put it round, round the tree even more for me, aren't you, Matt? No. Oh, look. Okay. Oh, hold on, let me just get a close up. There is a flag down there somewhere. There it is. So down, down the shaft, yeah? Down the shaft. Are you sure you got me the same place? Hang on. Yeah, and it's weird, isn't it? When you stand there, you feel like you need to aim further right. Yeah. So maybe that's another video in its own right. See, he's gone and won the YouTube team event, and now I think he's Tour green, Pro. Just about, but it's on the green, right? Tour Pro John. Oh, I don't know. I just watched what you did and did something slightly. Slightly better. better. Angle, yeah. Slightly. Go on, say it as it is. Say it as it is. Right, yeah, let me have a retake. Oh, thank you, Matt. That was a brilliant it's just, it's just on the edge of the fringe, I think. Yeah. Right, here we go. So Matt's determined to do a better version. A better version, so we can get rid of the first tape. That looks really good. Oh, that's curling round, lovely. Oh, we could just, we could just play games here all day long, Matt. Yeah, now we've got to go and find some other uses yeah. for your two eyes. So okay, that's on. fantastic. Well done, Matt. Thank you. Okay, so we're moving up to the 18th at Kilio. You can see in the background my lovely coach who said, I'll run down and I'll go and collect the balls that we just used. He ran down, but he's not going to be running up. I'll tell you, that's quite a slope. Uh, but he's got another little bit of advice and we're going to play off the 18th tee. So we're filming, Matt. Uh, you put me on the tee. On the 18th. Third shot. Third third idea with a two iron is... Indeed. The tee shot. Tee shot. Fairly obvious, I guess. So we've just practiced it on the range. We just had to go a long chip and run or a low deliberate shot. Okay. So now back to probably what it's been designed, designed for. Designed for, I guess. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The tee shot. Oh. Right, John. So exactly the same as on the practice ground, please. Same thought process, same result. Free your mind of too many thoughts. Maybe that one, two, three is all we need to think about. Yep. That will do you. Yep. So the tee shot. I better okay. have a go for the purposes of the video. Yeah, so it's a, a proper swung tee shot. But no, there was yeah, nothing everyone's wrong. got their own swing. And there was nothing wrong with that. And again, if you compare that to your driving range, which might be another lesson yeah, in yeah. its own right, the difference in your practice swings sorry your swings on the golf course to the range there is a whole lesson in that own in that isn't there Absolutely. as well yeah, and yeah. we will do that make a note yeah bringing the range to the course course and course to the range yeah 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 we'll do that right okay. let's have a quick go while we're here i didn't bring out too many tees so. 
<laughs> Still never hit the tea out of the ground, do I? <laughs> no, exactly. I know. How many years have we done this now? Still can't hit a tea out of the ground. Still can't. That's gonna be a that's gotta be a that's gotta be a video, hasn't it? It's gotta, it's gotta be, be a simple video. video. So if I'm gonna do the same again, I've got to stay my relaxed same self as I make the swing as well. Here we go, so third type T shot John. the best one no but it's up there and that's that's the important thing and if it was a windy day you'd want it to be up yeah. there but not too high indeed and more importantly i don't think we get any awards for hitting that out the middle of the club but as you rightly said maybe the joy of this is it keeps it low keeps it moving nicely sure and, and on courses like i play predominantly which are links ones that's just going to run and run oh definitely okay third type of shot the tee shot tee shot let's go okay fourth thing john off the fairway, 225 yards, 230, wind going left to right, hopefully this is going to stay low, that's what we're trying to achieve, we've talked about technique, let's have a go. Yeah, straight as a die. Yeah, that's certainly down there, isn't it? The only problem with using this, and bear in mind we want to do this quick, I'm not going to go and get that one. No, no, that's got a long go. way. Okay. Yeah, okay. Go, go, go. Okay, so, so my go? Your go. Copy what I've just shown you, John. No, I'll do my best, man. Just try and check your aiming, because it looks like you're aiming a little bit far right at the moment. That's better. And if you just give us a couple of practice swings, I don't know if you did a close up of the green a minute ago, but the green is all the way down there. But the more important thing is just trying to keep it in between this line of trees on the left and the right. Okay, give it a go. Almost. Almost, but. Yeah. Again, down there, rolling, rolling, yeah. rolling. Yes. That's, that's the kind of way I play. It's not yeah. always going to be a perfect shot, but they're staying low, they're not getting affected by the wind problems. Yeah. They're going relatively straight most of the time. And with this, it goes a long way. Exactly, perfect. Better than the fairway wood for me at the moment. Spot on. Although we'll change the fairway wood in a mile. Okay. But not today. Not today. Right, fifth option coming okay. up. Okay. Right. Okay, Matt, number five. Number five, the chip and run. Um, okay. Before anyone comments in with the, uh, yes, you could use a lob wedge and lob it all the way up to that almost third, well, third tier on yep. the screen. Um, we're just having a fun look at what this two iron can do. Yeah, hopefully people can hear that when you turn your head the other way and there was a spotter plane coming over. We okay. always get planes, don't we? Yeah, maybe but, we do sign language. Yeah, so just very quickly say that again. So yes, you could use a, a gap wedge, you could go over, up. Yep. We're going low. We're just going low and long. And we're just having a bit of fun with your two iron yeah, it's, it's, out here. It's, it's, you know, some of the shots um, haven't been the greatest and because we are rushing through this very yep. quickly in the time we've got. But it's more about demonstrating ideas. Indeed, you know, the advantage here is it's going to hit the ground running. Yep. We're not going to worry about how it bounces up these slopes because once it gets into contact with ground, it's going to be rolling up them very yeah, quickly. Yeah. Yeah? Okay. Unlike a higher club, which we would have to then worry about how it's affected on landing. Sure, okay. So, probable landing here. Yeah, yeah. Somewhere. Um, let's have a go. Hands right down the grip. Okay. So would this be comparable to me, uh, sometimes I'd use a hybrid or sometimes I'd even use a putter, but Definitely, more aggressively? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would stand quite narrow with, with the stance, hands slightly forward, weight slightly forward, keep the club nice and low, and let's get it rolling up this slope towards the hole. Here we go. Mm -hmm. I mean, that's really good. That's that was, <laughs> you can't get much better than that, Matt, I'm about to drop it in the hole. Normally we say don't worry about showing the results, but... You might yeah. want to show the result on that, Matt. We might do. Go on, see if And it can... literally rolled the whole way. Pretty much, wasn't yeah. it? Yeah. Okay. Obviously the camera probably doesn't show how severe that, that slope that's is. That's quite a slope, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, so... Right, have a go. Turn stone. Now that flag go. is about six foot, five foot above us, but it does need to brush the grass. Ha! 
<laughs> I tried beating you, Matt, but yeah, you, not quite subtle enough. You, but. you give the guy an award for YouTube team winner. 2019 yeah. and suddenly he thinks he's a tour pro. I should have left the, took the flag out, mate. Might have yeah. in, it? Actual fact, with a bit of editing, we'll pretend it went in, John. <laughs> Although having said no, that, we always tell the truth. Yeah. We tell the and truth. I want that close up of about the only decent shot I've hit this afternoon. <laughs> right. Okay. Cool. So, John, just before you think, and I don't often get it better than you. That was mine. Yep. Yours hit the flag. Yeah. A debate there for another video flag in or out absolutely uh, I, I think it would have gone a bit past it was a little yeah. bit hot to be honest and it, it, it's still a tap in though isn't oh, it oh absolutely it's a good yeah, save yeah. Um, and hey there's five different things John can be doing with his two iron and, and just use your imagination with yeah, it don't like always think a certain club is for one particular job no no definitely not it's all about being creative yeah trying to create those environments that challenge you okay and again, I totally agree with a comment someone made ages ago about teaching on the range, yeah? As I get hit by the flag. That's why we teach on the range, so we don't <laughs> get flags in the way. Um, it, but it's coming out where golf is played yeah. and experimenting. So I totally agree, if you've got the chance, get out on the golf course. Okay. Maybe don't do what we've just done in this video. No, but make sure that if you end up in a position where you've got a chance to use something different and it's not in a comp or whatever, yeah. maybe try it. Oh, definitely. And you, and you yeah. never know, that That's might work see, and you yeah. might use it again. Yeah, because I don't want any of your crew getting thrown off golf courses for dropping more than one ball. We're probably adverse, mate. Exactly, exactly. But that concludes five things that John can do with his new two iron. I'll do my best. And Thanks. Taylor made, if you're listening, you can send me one because I really like them. <laughs> I'll do my best, I'll see what I can do from Taylor made for you. I was walking off camera, that was it. <laughs> Yeah, we'll do a little thumbs. Oh, you get those in videos, don't you? <laughs> oh, we must be mad, man. <laughs> it's a good one. It's a good one. Yeah, I'll take a still from the video. <laughs>